Seven Mad here today with a brand new Cinema 4D tutorial and today I'm showing you how to make this fantastic broken text effect. Now in today's tutorial we are going to need a few things. So firstly is we're going to need Cinema 4D which is the main software and the other one being Throusy which is a plugin which is uh, not very hard to find on YouTube. Now apart from that that's all you're going to need in terms of the actual tutorial today. For those that don't have Cinema 4D or don't have Throusy and don't want to go and get it, if you're interested, let me know in the comment section below about making an alphabet of broken text. And what I'll do is, I'll, uh, if I get enough people say, yes, I'd like some broken text, what I'll do is I'll simply make an alphabet of broken text in a PNG format where you can just copy the letters into something like Photoshop, rearrange them to make your own username. I know it's not ideal, but it's better than going without full stop. So let me know what you think. In the description today, though, apart from the links to my Twitter page, there is going to be this really nice Lightroom. And this is the one that I used to make the broken text. And uh, it's actually pretty much set up for you to use straight away. Um, I've modified the text in the middle here. So all you're going to have to do is when you open up the file, click on the text. Go on the object tab <clears throat> and change the text to whatever you would like. And when you've done that, you actually might want to change your font. Now, somebody asked me what font I use on my video thumbnails, which is actually the same font that I'm using here. And this is called, I think something like New Athletic M54. I think that's it. Yeah, there you go. New Athletic M54. That's the one that I use. And all you're going to do is just make sure that when you've selected your font, you scale it down so that it's within the lighter grey section here. Because if it's not, then it won't be seen by Cinema 4D when rendering. Right, so now that we've done that, let's make some material for it. So we're going to go down to the materials at the bottom here, and at the moment, Although there was something there a moment ago, which I deleted, there's not now. So what you're going to do is you can either double click on the materials page there, or you can go file, new material, or you can even press control N as long as you're selected in the materials section. And you'll get materials pop up. And you can double click on that to bring up the material editor. Now that we're in the material editor, we actually have to modify something quickly first. So when we're making the material, it's actually best that you turn off specular. And the reason for this is basically when you pick a color, so if I'm going to now go on the color section and choose red as my main color. When I do that, if the specular's on, you can see this little sort of white glow. And what that does is it actually modifies the color so that when you render, it actually isn't the color you chose, if that makes sense. It's being distorted in a way by the specular. So I always find it best just to switch it off. Other than that, we're going to need to go on the reflection tab and select reflection. Now at the moment the reflection is a bit too much so what we're going to have to do is change the brightness down so that it's not completely overly reflective. So I'm going to go with about 20%. I think that's a pretty good number to work with in terms of reflective um, reflectiveness. When you've changed the brightness go to the texture section and click on the drop down arrow and select the option called Fresnel. And when you select that it actually creates a really nice sort of effect with the with the reflection but at the moment it's again a bit strong so change it down to approximately 12 percent i think that's in general quite a nice figure to work with if it gets a bit too reflective then it sort of starts taking everything from around the scenery and uh, it can distort a little bit so now that we've done that we can actually close the material editor off and that'll save the material here in our little palette now just drag that onto the text and I'm going to preview it for you just so you can see what we have so far. Ah, just drinking a can of Pepsi. Oh yeah, I know how to live. Okay, so at the moment while the text is rendering, it's looking pretty nifty. Yep, that's looking pretty nice. 
and uh, I'm, I'm liking that quite a bit. So now that we've done that, it's time to break the text. So what we're actually going to need to do is we're going to now need to use the plugin. So we're going to go to plugins, and we're going to go on Throusy, and we're then going to select Throusy. And we'll get a small pop-up appear for Throusy. And uh, it says pieces, random, uh, Voronoi. Oh, I'm afraid I, I'm, I can't say that. Never mind. Anyway, what you're going to do in the pieces section, you're just going to change it to about 25, sort of between, anywhere sort of between 20 and 30, uh, I think is okay. I'm going to leave it on random. And we're going to break now. And you should see the text start to break. And you can't actually <laughs> cancel this when you're breaking the text. So you just have to sort of sit it out. It does tell you the, the completion at the bottom. Okay, so that was quite quick. Okay, now that we've done that, you can see at the moment the text is looking like it's completely the same. Maybe a few little white dots here and there. But if I was to render it, it should look the same, actually. I'll just let it do one of the letters just so you can see that there's no real change. So you can see there, no real change. So, oops, don't want to do that. You can actually manually move the pieces around, but what we're going to do is we're going to need to modify this. And the nicest way of doing this and to make it look the best, we're going to need to go to MoGraph, click on the effect of at the top and we're going to need two things from this effect one we're going to need a group and the other one is we're going to need a random so firstly select the group and go on the bottom throusy object press shift and click on the other one, other side the end of the throusy and that select all the letters and then just drag that into the group and you'll see because the arrow is now actually pointing downwards and then just let go of it in the group now we need to go back to MoGraph on that Effector tab again, and then we're going to now select Random. And we're going to do the same thing, we're just going to drag Random into the group. And make sure the Random is actually above the Throusy text. The Random is actually probably the most important thing, because what it does is it allows us to, to do something called the Deformer. So now that we've added the Random, we can go to the option called Deformer. Make sure you've actually selected the Random object itself. Go to the former and it will say deformation off. Click on the drop down arrow and select point. And you'll notice the text has now sort of exploded into pieces. A bit too much actually, but we want to now modify that because it's looking a bit too much. And uh, I might have a look into how to make abstract renders based on this as well. So in case any of you were thinking of that when you saw that. Okay, so we actually want to just sort of, you know, condense that down quite a lot. So we're going to go to the option called Fall Off. And we've got two things here. We've got one called Weight and one called Scale. Leave the scale exactly as it is. I can't honestly say I've noticed any difference if I ever change it. And we're going to go on the Weight and we're going to change Weight to 3%. And by changing it to 3%, that gives us just a bit of broken text, but nothing too much. Because if we do too much, then it just looks stupid. It just looks completely unreadable and, you know, it's just... It's just not really what you want. You just want it to look as, as nice as it can. I mean, you can sort of jitter between 2 and 3, and depending on what font you use, the, the breaks might be slightly different. Now, some of you might be thinking, oh, well, I don't want the, the circle or, well, I mean the letter O or something to be crinkled or broken more than the rest of the text. Well, there is actually a way to change the pattern of the break. So at the moment, if we, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to focus now on the main text, and I'm going to change it from something in the effector tab and you'll see here the effector you can change how strong the, the actual effect is firstly and uh, you can change the, the something called the seed which is basically the, the pattern of breaking you can see it changing as I uh, change it I mean look, here's one I'll change it and it's different and again and it keeps changing and there's actually thousands of possibilities and now I'm actually going to choose 1337 which some of you may know as leet and uh, that is the break for leet so that's the one I'm going to stick with it's uh, very well justified I think so now that we've done that that's pretty much it you're just going to need to go to the render settings ch 
change the file destination and the name of the uh, object it's all set up for you so just hit the render button right there or press shift and R on your keyboard and it'll uh, it'll go off and uh, render the text so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pause the video wait for it to uh, to, to sort itself out and uh, I'll show you the final result okay so the text is actually just uh, finished rendering let's go and have a look at uh, what we've created today so this is the broken text and I actually think this looks even nicer than the first one that I'd made so that is a result so that's it for today guys thank you for watching I hope you've had an absolutely tremendous time I hope you've learned something new and uh, again let me know if you're interested in that alphabet of broken text don't forget to uh, check out the description for the free Lightroom setup and also for the link to my Twitter page in case you're interested. Thank you for watching, guys. Have an absolutely tremendous time. I hope to see you on one of my next videos and even on my channel. So thanks, guys, and uh, take care.